Hello. Got some more ranked TFT action in Master Tier. Coming right up here. Need a little uh, sip of my go go juice, though. So. While we load in. I'm feeling like forcing a comp. Might, might do it uh, just to show the <laughs> what happens when you force a comp. Um, in higher elo, I'd say there's about a 10% success rate. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I want that. I want the cast in as well. And I got it. All right. We got a spat lobby. These don't happen terribly often. Uh, I don't know what the actual like percentages are across league. Mutants grow stronger with uh, each unit that dies. They nerfed it a little bit, but I don't think they nerfed it enough, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, it used to be 20, 30, 40. This is rough. You're kind of incentivized almost, I feel like, to, I mean, realistically, you can look at the spat, see what it can make. There's not a ton of comps that really benefit from it. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so far that guy's already got makings of something mutant. That's Challenger. I'm just gonna take rich get richer here. We're just gonna try to get rich. I'm actually gonna just sell both of these. I know two Darius can beat that. You know what? I'm gonna really greet it. And just do this. Honestly, I want to go mercenaries. Okay, so very VIP is like the old Imperial Augment, where whenever your allies die, they grant some of their max HP to the VIP. Crazy, crazy. Uh, that guy's looking to go mutants. He already has a mutant spat. I mean, we got all kinds of garbage going on over here. Um, wow. Okay, so we hit. We have Yordles. My goodness, we have we have Yordles plus is what I will call this. We got crap for items, but we have 30 econ already and Yordles in, so we're gonna keep econing up. Would actually just love to hit mercenaries and start losing that's best case scenario um, this guy's gonna absolutely trounce me because he leveled up took concussive blows and already made a striker spat <sighs> like I was saying though there's really not that many strats that want the spat that, that work there's gonna be like mutants debonairs striker uh, and that is about gonna do it, probably. Uh, am I gonna pre-level? I could get nine gold if I win this. Which means I should get eight, even if I don't. So I am gonna do this. I'm gonna go like this to level up to have a better chance of my next shop refreshing with 
uh, some mercenaries. I am never going to get through these units, and Ziggs is a piece of garbage, so... Alright, so do we get up to 40 gold here? That's the question. We do. Interesting. We also hit a Lowy too. Dang it, that guy just hit Mercs. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> I don't know what we're doing. It might be an Arcanist game. Uh, I could see that, maybe. We just have nothing to go off of because we have no items. So we've got to make some decisions here, boys and girls. Because this is, this is a tragedy. This one, this is actually going to be a good loss. Um, yes. Okay, good. I was going to say if Leona gets her ability off, it's going to be a bad loss. It is going to be a loss, though. There is no doubt. Yep. So we're going to actually sell this for Econ. Last moment. Hit 40. I mean... I think I'm taking that. I think Arcanus is, it appears to be open. That's the first thing. Um, second thing, it's one of the only <laughs> comps that we can seemingly put together currently. Uh, I almost want to slam it, but I don't have another Arcanus, so I'm not going to. Because we could also wait and maybe slam uh, Chemtech. They did buff Chemtech. So it is worth going like deep into Chemtechs. But that's what this guy appears to be doing or wanting to do. This one's just going to be a rough one. There's just no... No nice way of putting it. It's just going to be rough. Are you... And then... Ziggs, look at let's look at Ziggs damage this round, shall we? Zero magic damage. Meaning he didn't hit a single unit with his ult. Truly incredible stuff, isn't it? I'm trying to think what we can do with Arcanus. Usually it's like I think it's like a I mean obviously late game Ari Victor angle. But like in the meantime, I don't know what is good as a as an arcanist. Okay. Hmm. Now this makes me want to consider Chemtex. I should no. I'm gonna buy this if I hit. I can put mercs in if I'm planning on just econing. Also, frick me. I always forget this. Rich Get Richer actually allows you to econ up to 70 gold. So I was not supposed to spend gold yet. I was supposed to wait. I'll just tell myself I did it in the name of saving some HP. Uh, but in reality, you're supposed to just econ up to 70 then you're making a lot of gold each round and you can go from there if i made zach an arcanist may i maybe like win this round because he can actually deal a lot of damage see that okay there is the mercenary are we crazy? 
Are we crazy? I think we're crazy. This will definitely be the latest I've ever uh, put in mercs. Okay, now there's a Hextech angle. Let's begin again. Interesting, there's actually a Hextech angle. Uh, I'm just greedy, so I'm doing this. I'm keeping Econ, having Yordles and Mercenaries in. I am going to not slam that because actually Arcanists doesn't matter until I have four Arcanists in. But here's where our gold starts getting silly. Our gold, uh, why, what, why did Twitch just turn that way? Oh man. So we got Debonair, Mutants as expected, Chemtech, Challenger Chemtech, Strikers, another guy going Mercs. He's got a Thief's Gloves because he's actually been losing with Mercs for quite some time now. There's Twin Shot. Uh, see though, like we are getting 16 gold around. Okay, if you do that math, that's two rounds. We're level seven with 70 gold, which means we can go in like three rounds. We can go eight and have like 30 gold left over to roll, which is kind of massive. We're also starting to hit some like decent losses here. Like this. Two unit loss, that is perfectly fine with me. Uh, this next augment. What do we want? Honestly, mercenary heart. Merc emblem. Uh, something that gives us some form of direction would be ideal. Use it burning. Use it burning. That doesn't necessarily mm, doesn't necessarily do it. Um gosh. That's disgusting. And he got a sniper ammo. Hmm. We'll go Luton's don't exactly ask me why. See, like here, after this round, we're going to be level 7, 70 econ. Actually, it's going to be 86 or 85 econ. Uh, we just got two two costs put in our chest. We are missing out on some of the Arcanists along the way, which is kind of weird. Um, this guy's going to cash out, probably. I'm pretty sure he beats me here. Okay, I lied. No, I didn't lie. Yes, good. Five damage loss for me, but now it gets freaky because actually he is going to just turn it now because he's too low. Um, which means I'm buying this just to see where the socialite spot is. He's too low. He's going to have to turn it, so he's going to get freaky strong. Now I am going to, instead of like facing him in a couple rounds when I'm trying to turn and he's still losing, that gives me a good shot at, you know, turning it. Now it's going to get a little sketchy. Uh, I want 
a sword. I want a sword because I want to be able to make a gun blade and or a spear of shojin. Because if I'm going Arcanists, which I believe I am. Where is it? Front row? Gross. I'm not doing that. Okay, see, now I can do this. And I am like rich, rich. See what I'm saying? Oh man. There's a couple routes I can go. I kind of want to wait though. But I'm gonna go ahead and, and put Morellos on her. Just to save some HP here because I knew that this was gonna be a stomp and <sighs> there's a reason he's winning. Like I said, they buffed Kim Kim Tech. I guess I can be glad though that I faced him now instead of like in this next round when I'm gonna try to turn it. I could greed for one more round. I could. Ideally, we're gonna hit a victor and we're gonna have some kind of front line and I'm gonna spear of Shojin victor. We have some kind of front line. I am just gonna do it. Go ahead and do it now. Um. If I can hit, okay. And I have Mercs randomly right now, but that'll change. If I, like if my Victor can ult here, I think the damage is going to be pretty catastrophic. Yeah. Yay, and GP made me an extra gold on the way out. Okay. I low rolled my mercs, so I'm just going to get a little bit of gold out of that. But if we can go... I honestly don't know if... Um, Let's get going. This is not what we want. We'll have Brahm and those go in. <sighs> wow, we're back up to seventy gold. We frontline this guy. Who do we make an Arcanist? I will protect you. Just a Having some scholars would be smart, but Big damage. Okay. Victor's job is just deleting the whole board. We need to hit... If we can hit 8... If we can hit 8 Arcanists, that is something I have not done in Ranked before. I think it could be quite spicy. I also think that Renata, okay, so I'm saving my gold. Here's kind of a 
something you can consider doing. Um, if you don't know whether you can push 9 or not, just don't spend your gold on lo leveling or rolling. Just wait until you know. So like right now, just waiting. That Braum damage is actually insane. Um, this is Victor 1. If I can push 9 and hit Victor 2. And put in... Oh wait, there's an Ari. Holy crap. I about just missed it. I'm sure you were all about to reach through your screens and slap me. So I didn't miss it. Because there's an Ari. I mean, that damage is just bonkers. We make... So we level up. We put in Ari and we put in Swain. And we make... So we put in Ari. Sell... Um, could make Renata Glask a... That would be interesting. Renata being... Um, an Arcanist? That'd be mad damage. Okay, the fact that Victor ulted and we didn't win on the spot is bad news. Okay. Whew. Okay, got there on the second one. Okay, okay. Let's see how much damage we blocked. Yeah. We're just trying to be tanky peeps. Honestly. We just need Victor to ult one or two times. Probably just once. This game has been really interesting. This guy is still just absolutely dominating everyone. I'm gonna have to run into him again soon, probably. Um, I'm going to have to hit a random, okay. Ooh, this is, uh, I'm just going to do it. Might be some universe where I play Tom Kench, but I don't know if that's this universe. Okay. Where's the socialite? Was it like front right? Was that what it was? Let's look at this guy's board. He is one of the only people playing it. Which tells me it's in a terrible spot. Okay. Yeah, front right. Oh my goodness. This just got spicy. So, Renata is an Arcanist, and so is... So is he? Is there any nuance to this? I'm always ready. Empires are built on enough. There's a reason I call the shots. Their time is pure. We need victors. I am gonna lock this because that's gonna be RE2, she doesn't do a whole lot right now, but eventually she could. <laughs> okay. 
Nice. Killed them all. This is kind of weird, honestly. <sighs> Scholar has got to be like. Silco has got to be better than Zack, if I am being real with myself here. But we're going to keep it. So your team gains 100. So when you hit 8, it actually just grants it to everyone. So it doesn't matter who's holding the emblems. That's interesting. But we have to, yeah. Chemtech is not actually doing that much. Uh, I don't know why we haven't hit any more victors. If the game is just like, nah, that wouldn't be fair. Or what? Okay, there's Silco. Okay, so we're going to sell this, sell this. We can maybe leave him like that. We can trap claw. We can. Still don't know. See how much Renata does with all this damage. Holy Moses. That's funny. That's so much ability power. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's the skipper. Now, if people don't... Oh my gosh. Okay. That was an insane roll right there. Jeez. Um, I'm going to alternate these guys. Um, wow. Come on, Victor. Jeez. That damage is wild. A thousand damage. Four lasers. Her ability does 160. So this stacks for 15 seconds. It does 160 damage a second. And now Silco, when the unit he... Jeez. Seeing all this ability power on all these units is hilarious. Um, so we're gonna last second swap some stuff again. I think that's best. Oh no, he, he zephyred my Silco and my, uh... Vex didn't get her ability off, <laughs> but it didn't matter. Wow, I should play 8 Arcanists more often. Turns out it's good. My board is just absolutely capped right now, too. The only thing I could hit is like a Jeweled Gauntlet or something ridiculous. I mean... Arcanist Emblem allows me to put in something else and the rest of this is all trash so i can now take out um i'm close to syndicate or um i think for memeing i have to do this For memeing purposes. Come on, Jinx. 
only does 1100 damage in the epicenter. That's not, honestly, all things considered. All things considered, that's not a ton of damage. Victor's rays are doing a thousand each, plus somewhere between 20 and 60 percent more. Excuse me, more. I'm always ready. Okay, none of that. If I really wanted to, honestly, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Jinx is just more damage. That's not actually what we need. Uh oh. Nice. Got the sniper guy out. Oh wow. Alright. And then there were... Oh my gosh. I could have had Debonair Zeri. I could have had Debonair Zeri. I mean, once Victor ults, that's just like the whole thing. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off of Vex and put it on to Renata. A little more damage. There we go. Oh my. Okay. I was gonna say, jeez, that was actually really scary. Definitely one of the more capped boards I've ever had. It's like, how much does Tom's ability do? 2,000 right off the bat? Okay, so I'm gonna play this guy. I'm gonna move this over here. I'm hoping that he didn't He Zephyred my Victor. That's actually that is massive. Um, but doesn't matter. Cool, cool, cool. This might look like a first here, folks. Now we shall He's doing a. Majority of all I can do is give him more damage. It's kind of ridiculous. Swapping it last second. Let's see if he swapped it. He did. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Uh. Okay, but okay, my Victor ulted once. And we got him. Um, it's a first place. 
8 Arcanist, Victor 2, a little bit of a low roll to start, but we ended on a high roll, so yeah, pretty good strat.